Hi, uh, this is the fertilization process. Fertilization is the amazing story of a sperm facing incredible situations to unite with an egg and form a new life. During sexual intercourse, about 300 million sperm enter the vagina. Shortly after, millions of them must flow out or die in their acidic environment. However, many survive because of the protective elements of the fluid that surrounds them. And next, the sperm must pass through the cervix. continue to swim towards the uterus but millions of them will die <coughs> trying to penetrate the mucus some sperm get stuck in the pathways of the cervix but may then continue their journey once inside the uterus there are muscular contractions that helps the sperm make their way to their egg however the cells of women's immune system mistaking the sperms of invaders destroy thousands Afterwards, half of the sperm enter the fallopian tube while the other half swims to the fallopian tube containing yet unfertilized egg. Now, only a few thousand remain inside the fallopian tube. Meanwhile, a small cilia push the egg towards the uterus so it continues on the path. Sperm must seek that moment to reach the egg. However, it should be noted that some sperm become trapped in the cilia and die during this part of the journey. On the other hand, some chemicals in the reproductive tract causes the membranes in the sperm head to change. As a result, the sperm became hyperactive causing them to swim harder and faster towards the destination. Finally, the sperm reaches the egg. At this point, only a few dozens of 300 million of sperms remain on the journey. The sperm must be pushed through this layer to reach the outer layer of the egg. This is called zona pellucida, which aims to prevent more than one sperm from entering so that fertilization is normal. Within that, there is a small fluid filled space just outside their ovular membrane and the first sperm to make the contact will fertilize the egg. Yes, that's right. After a dangerous adventure and against all odds, a single sperm attaches itself to the ovular membrane. Within minutes, their outer membranes fuse and the egg attracts the sperm inside. This event causes changes in the membrane that prevent other sperm forms attaching to it and then release chemicals that repels other from the egg, making it impenetrable. Meanwhile, inside the ovium, the male genetic material spreads out and a new membrane forms around the genetic material, creating male pronucleus. Inside the genetic material reforms into 23 chromosomes. Okay. For its apart, a female genetic material awakens and finishes, dividing by the fusion of the sperm with the egg, resulting in the female pronucleus, which also has 23 chromosomes. As the male and female pronuclei form tissues called microtubules, pulls through this, uniting the two groups of chromosomes and completing the fertilization process. <coughs> In this instant, a unique genetic code is created determining its sex, hair color, eye color and hundreds of other characteristics. The new single called uh, zygote is the beginning of the new human being and now it is the fallopian tubes and the cilia gently sweep the zygote into the uterus where he or she will implant into the rich uterine walls growing and maturing for the next nine months until the birth of a new life. Yeah, thank you.